Hello there, my name is Nswaki Mugeti and welcome to the last episode of Boer TV for 2017. Wow, what a year it's been. I can't believe we're almost at the end though. Ek nog minder, maar wat a pretrit was it nie. My name is Constant van Graan en saam gaan ons hierdie jaar op een hoë noot groet. Yes, let's do it the boa way. Vandaag maak ons een draai by die campus in Van Herbeil Park om te sien hoe innovatie vlerke gegeen moet. And we'll be catching up with a new NWU face who is said to have a big impact in a very important role. Ons eerste stop is achter by die campus in Maie Ken. Inheemse kennis is deel van ons as Zuid-Afrikaners se erfenis en dit is van die grootste belang dat dit nie verloore mag gaan nie. It should be cherished and the implementation of this knowledge can still be of so much use and value. Dumelang Bareti Babua TV. Kumpia Gotla Barubali Dr. George Sidupani from the Northwest University campus in Mafikeng. So come with me and let's go check it out. Good morning, Dr. Sudubani. Can you please tell us more about the Indigenous Knowledge System Center? The Kiyas Center uh, began about uh, 2008 in the HSS faculty. In 2012, we just moved to the science faculty. Uh, it currently does uh, teaching, uh, research, and community engagement. The center recently celebrated African Traditional Medicine Day. Can you please explain to us what this day entailed and how it was celebrated? Okay, this day was first proclaimed by the WHO around the year 2000 to focus uh, attention on the traditional African uh, medicine because most uh, people in the, in the continent uh, still use this medicine uh, throughout uh, villages, towns and uh, various, various uh, places. And uh, it's been found to be uh, effective uh, for various uh, conditions. Should there be a greater strive to seek um, harmony between indigenous knowledge and Western influences? I think it's, it's a privilege that we live in a world where we can connect with different uh, cultures because there are things that are very hard to deal with in using just Western methods uh, and one can uh, learn from indigenous knowledge to solve those uh, problems. And likewise, one can use Western uh, techniques to shed light on some of the reasons why and how things work in an indigenous uh, context. What are the future goals for the Indigenous Knowledge System Center? One of our goals is to uh, reach out more to the communities that we are around. We have uh, currently uh, done a, a course to, uh, to train traditional leaders uh, all over the country. Uh, is, uh, also, we're looking at uh, other courses to train uh, traditional healers to integrate their knowledge into the system and also to have them understand better uh, the healthcare system of our country. Thank you so much for tuning in to Bua TV. I go by the name of Mo Sound and as the world and society moves forward, it is important to remember the steps that have brought us here and the footing they gave us. Thank you, Mo Sound. It is always inspiring to see how research and dedication can use the past to enrich the now. Ons levens is synonie met technologie en wiskunde en wetenskap is die raamwerk van ons samenleven. A passie vir hierdie vakgebiede moet wel van jongs af gekweek word. That is why the School of Information Technology on our campus in Van der Beel Park is ensuring that our youth is getting the exposure to the sciences they deserve. Oor na jou, Tandy. Hello viewers, my name is Tandi Shashala and today I'm at the beautiful Val Triangle campus to learn more about the Geekspo, IT, Stats and Meds Expo that is filled with workshops, exhibitions and competitions. Joining us is JT, Janse van Riensburg from the School of Information Technology to tell us a little bit more about this unique event. Hi JT and welcome to Bua TV. As a Geekspo coordinator, can you explain to us what Geekspo is? Geekspo is an IT maths and stats expo. It's mostly targeted at high school learners, but anyone is welcome to attend the event. Every year we host a number of competitions, workshops and exhibitions in the field of IT maths and stats. But the main uh, activities on the day is the PAT competition and the Mathematics Olympiad. In the PAT competitions, learners can enter their PAT projects to win IT bursaries and the math Mathematics Olympiad has large, large prizes to be won. And how did this event start? 
It initially started only as the PAT competition. Uh, two lecturers from the IT department, Nay van der Linde and Marley Zeeman, decided that they wanted to host a PAT competition for schools. They approached the Dean and he said he'd be willing to give bursaries as prizes. So that's how it started. Uh, the big prizes then for the day is for the grade 11 winners who respectively win a three-year, two-year and one-year IT bursary to study IT at our campus. And uh, this year we have a record number of entries. We have upwards of 90 entries for the PAT projects. Now there's a nationwide shortage of professionals who are educated in the fields that Geekspo is um, elaborating on. So is it safe to say that Geekspo is addressing this dilemma? Yes, Geekspo definitely addresses this dilemma. Uh, not only are we creating awareness about the importance of mathematics, statistics and information technology, but we are also trying to get learners to uh, be aware of career choices in these fields from a younger age and that's the idea why we uh, include high school learners for the Geeks Pro competition. Okay, now robotics is a very exciting field and one that is growing in importance. It is also a very big part of the Geeks Pro. Care to tell us more? Yes, uh, part of our IT department is the Robotics NW team. It's a very dynamic unit within the IT department. Every year they also host workshops and competitions at Geekspo. Uh, they also have the RoboFest and they've won the competition a number of times. This year at Geekspo they will host several workshops in collaboration with Binary Space. Workshops such as learning how to solder LED lights on a circuit board and uh, to program our genos to move robotic arms. And lastly, JT, why would you encourage learners to pursue a career in information technology? A career in information technology poses many opportunities. Uh, the world we live in is digital and uh, many, if not all, companies either have an information technology department or a position available in IT. This could be an IT consultant, a cloud architect, a uh, web developer, an Android developer and even a data modeler. So there are many opportunities available in the field of information technology and we at the NW offer a very balanced degree in information technology so we provide the learners with the opportunity to follow any career path in information technology. With the right exposure, hard work and dedication, the world of numbers can lead to a new success for a lot of students. Now that is the right equation. Back to you, Zaku and Constant. For our last segment, we'll be introducing you to the dynamic Prof. Rifilwe Paswana Mafuya, our new Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Research and Innovation. Voter Muller Repetage Sales. With an industrious and very successful career as social worker and social work researcher, Prof. Rifilwe Paswana Mafuya has a passion for helping people like few other. Hello, Prof. Rifilwe, and welcome to Buat TV. It is such a pleasure having you on the show. Would you start off by telling us a bit more about your experience as Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Research and Innovation thus far? Thank you. I've been engaged in a number of activities, including an intensive induction program by the Vice-Chancellor and by my predecessor, uh, and it has been quite enlightening. I've learned so much about NWU and how rich an institution it is. And what do you suppose will be some of the biggest challenges you will have to face? Uh, there are two levels, I would say, of, of challenges that uh, uh, one can face in a position of this nature. Uh, the one category is has to do with national challenges, uh, reduction in, in funding, uh, which is really a challenge that every institution of higher learning is faced with. We'll need to see how to diversify our funding sources in order to make sure that we continue to do what we aim to do. Uh, and specifically for the institution, uh, the challenge before us is to make sure that we successfully uh, implement the new strategy we transform the institution, we manage this change successfully in such a manner that we don't lose expertise and morale, collegiality and a sense of belonging. The Northwest University is renowned for its groundbreaking research. How do you think this research should benefit our communities? It's important that research is responsive to societal needs. Um, our research should impact on the quality of life uh, for our people and it should also 
uh, address socio-economic challenges that our country is faced with. And then how has your past professional experiences equipped you for your role as Deputy Vice-Chancellor? Uh, the last 15 years have been the most rewarding years of my life. I was privileged to work for various organizations including the Human Sciences Research Council where I led multi-year, multi-million, multi-country studies uh, which uh, were policy relevant, responsive to the country's needs and uh, applied in nature and I've had the privilege of building national and international networks. And Professor Rafilwe, do you have a life motto and if so, what is this motto that you live by? Uh, J.F. Kennedy's uh, statement which says, never ask your country what it should do for you, rather ask what you should do for your country. I believe in being proactive, initiative, and not waiting for things to happen, but rather making things happen. With that, we've not only come to the end of our episode, but the end of our final broadcast for the year. Thank you to all what by all four episodes of the year was. We see out on the next year again, geregeld on your rekenaars and slim phone to verschijn. And we'd like to wish you a very happy festive season and please be safe wherever you are. And as always, please feel free to comment below with any thoughts and suggestions about Bua TV. Until next time, be involved, be informed, be, be innovative. innovative. Ciao. Goed gaan. <laughs>